Remember when trading stocks meant staring at screens all day? Those days are over. Now, algorithms are making thousands of trades per second. And here's the thing. You don't need a PhD in computer science to use them. Ready to see how regular investors are automating their way to smarter trading? Hey there, my curious quants. Theodore here, and today we're diving into something that's transforming the way we trade. Algorithmic trading. Don't let the fancy name scare you off. Whether you're a coding wizard or can barely work your smartphone, we're about to show you how anyone can get started with automated trading. We've got some amazing experts ready to break it all down for you. So grab your favorite trading beverage and let's demystify the world of algo trading together. Hey everyone, ready to level up your trading game. This week we're diving into algorithmic trading. That's right, taking AI and finance a step further and letting the computers make the moves. We'll break down what it is, how it works, and how to get started, no matter your coding skills. Sounds good to me, because honestly, my coding skills are pretty basic. But we do have a ton of great articles to dig into, from the basics all the way to some advanced stuff. Yeah, from the building blocks to some of the strategies the pros use. So first things first, what exactly is algorithmic trading? It's basically setting up your trading rules and letting a computer execute them automatically. So instead of me, like, frantically buying a stock at 3 a.m. The algorithm does it for you based on your preset criteria. So it's all about taking the emotion out of trading. Exactly. And that's where one of the big advantages comes in speed. Basics of algorithmic trading had a good example with moving averages. Let's say you want to buy a stock the moment its 50-day moving average crosses above the 200-day. An algorithm can do that instantly. Right, no more staring at charts at 3 a.m. trying to time the market perfectly. Exactly, and it gets even more complex than that. Algorithmic trading by Investopedia talks about algorithms for managing your entire portfolio, making coordinated trades across different assets. So not just individual trades, but like a whole trading strategy on autopilot. Pretty much. And then there are the really sophisticated ones, the black box algorithms. Black box. Sounds kind of mysterious. They use things like AI and machine learning to find patterns in huge data sets and adapt their strategies in real time. Wow. So they're making decisions that even their creators might not fully understand. In a way, yes. And that leads to some of the concerns around algorithmic trading, like the potential for unexpected losses or even market manipulation, which, by the way, Investopedia doesn't shy away from covering. Yeah, because it's not all sunshine and roses, right? There's got to be a downside. Of course. And one thing that article emphasizes is the importance of backtesting your algorithms. Backtesting. Like taking it for a test drive before you actually hit the road. Precisely. You feed it historical market data and see how it would have performed. Makes sense. See if it can handle the real deal before you risk any actual money. Exactly. Now, I know a lot of people think you need to be a coding whiz to do any of this. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, I need to sign up for a coding boot camp before I even think about this. It's not always necessary. There are other options, like using pre-built trading bots. Okay, tell me more. Platforms like Three Commas have these marketplaces where you can buy bots that have already been designed and tested by other traders. So kind of like instead of building a, a car from scratch, you're just buying one that's ready to go. Yeah, and MetaTrader has something similar too. They have a whole library of pre-built bots. Okay, so that's one option. What if you're not into pre-built stuff? Then there are platforms like you trade algos, which let you build your algorithms visually. Visually, like drag and drop trading bots. Exactly. You don't need to write any code. Just use these predefined blocks to put your strategy together. That sounds almost too easy. Well, you still need to know what you're doing, obviously. You need a good understanding of trading principles and risk management. Right. No shortcuts to success, even with all this fancy tech. So speaking of trading principles, what are some of the strategies used in algo trading? Well, one popular one is trend following, which is basically what it sounds like. Your algorithm identifies a price trend and automatically buys or sells based on whether the asset is going up or down. So it rides the wave, then jumps off when things start to reverse. Yeah, exactly. Another common one is mean reversion. 
It's based on the idea that prices tend to go back towards their average over time. So if a stock is way up or way down. The algorithm sees that it's deviated from its historical norm and makes trades based on that. Interesting. So kind of like buy low, sell high, but with a bot doing all the calculations for you. What about arbitrage? That's another one I've heard of. Arbitrage is all about those tiny price differences for the same asset on different exchanges. Oh, so you need to be seriously quick to take advantage of those. Yeah, that's where algorithms really shine. They can execute those trades in milliseconds. Makes sense. I can't imagine a human trader even trying to do that. And then there's market making, which is often used by big institutional investors. Market making, huh? Mm. I feel like I should know what that is, but that's right my memory. Sure. So basically, the algorithm acts as the liquidity provider. It places both buy and sell orders for an asset. To make sure there's always someone to trade with. Exactly. And they profit from the spread between the bid and ask prices. So kind of like an automated middleman. Exactly. And these are just a few examples. There are tons of different strategies out there. It's a lot to take in. Think of algorithmic trading strategies like recipes in a cookbook. You've got your simple ones, like buying when prices dip below average. That's your mac and cheese. Then you've got your fancy ones, like arbitrage trading across multiple exchanges. That's your beef wellington. The beauty is, with today's tools, you can start with the simple stuff and work your way up to the complicated dishes. No master chef certification required. Yeah. Especially since this whole field is changing so fast. Yeah. What are some of the future trends you're seeing? Well, one big one is the rise of AI in machine learning. So even smarter algorithms. Yeah. They can analyze way more data and adapt to the markets much faster. Sounds intense. It is, but it's also creating some challenges. Like, regulators are paying more attention to make sure everything stays fair. Right, because with algorithms making millions of trades per second, things could get out of hand pretty quickly. Exactly. And speaking of speed, there's also high-frequency trading, where algorithms are executing trades in fractions of a second. Wow, that's next-level stuff. Yeah. It's amazing how much this technology is changing the game. But let's bring it back down to earth for a second. If someone's listening to this and thinking, okay, I want to try this algo trading thing, what are some practical first steps? Well, one article, Learn Algorithmic Trading, stresses the importance of a strong foundation. So even with all this tech, you still need to understand the basics of trading. Absolutely. Things like different asset classes, risk management, those are all crucial. Right, you can't just plug in an algorithm and expect it to magically make you money. Exactly. And then depending on your goals. Like, do I need to learn how to code? Well, if you want to build your own algorithms, then yeah, learning a language like Python is important. Figures. But remember, you can always use pre-built bots or those drag and drop platforms we talked about. True, true. But even with those, I imagine you need to be pretty comfortable with technology. Definitely. You'll be working with trading platforms, troubleshooting issues, that kind of thing. Okay, so being tech curious is a good start. Exactly. And there are lots of resources out there to help you learn. Like one article mentioned QuantInsti, which offers courses specifically on algo trading. QuantInsti, I'll check that out. So once you've got some knowledge, what's next? Just jump in with real money. That's where paper trading comes in handy. Paper trading, like those stock market simulator games. Kinda. It lets you test out your strategies with virtual money. Oh, so you can get a feel for how it works without any actual risk. Exactly. That way, you can get comfortable before you put real money on the line. Makes sense, especially with algorithms making trades so quickly. One mistake could be costly. Exactly. So paper trading lets you focus on your strategy and get some experience under your belt. Now, I'm curious about the career side of things. One article, How to Make a Career in Algorithmic Trading, made it sound pretty enticing. What are some of the roles people can have in this field? Right. How to Make a Career in Algorithmic Trading breaks down some of the key roles. One that always comes up is the, quanti the quantitative analyst. Okay, so those are the math whizzes, the ones who actually build the algorithms, yes, right? exactly. They're translating trading strategies into complex mathematical models. So if you love data and algorithms, that's the job for you. What about the people who actually run the algorithms, like in the heat of the moment? Right. Those are the algorithmic traders. They're the ones monitoring the markets, making sure everything is working smoothly. So they need a good mix of technical skills and market knowledge. Absolutely. And we can't forget about the software developers. They're the ones building and maintaining the whole system. Right, because none of this would be possible without the technology behind it. Exactly. They're essential. And then there are the risk managers, the ones making sure things don't go completely haywire. Super important when you've got algorithms making trades 
at lightning speed. Yeah, they're focused on mitigating potential losses, keeping everything under control. So those are some of the main roles. What if someone's interested in this field, but they're not sure which paths to take? Networking is huge. Going to industry events, connecting with people already working in the field, and internships, those are invaluable for getting real-world experience. So basically, learn as much as you can, meet people, and get some hands-on experience. It sounds like solid advice for any field, really. Absolutely. Here's the thing about getting into algo trading. It's like learning to drive. Sure, you could jump straight into a Formula One car, but you probably want to start with something a bit more forgiving. That's why paper trading and internships are so valuable. They're your learner's permit in the algo trading world, letting you make mistakes without crashing your portfolio. Okay, so we've talked about the cool side of algo trading, the speed, the technology, the potential profits, but let's get real about the risks for a second. We touched on system glitches and things like that. What else should people be aware of? Well, even the smartest algorithm is only as good as the data it's working with, right? Exactly. Garbage in, garbage out is a saying in computer science for a reason. You need reliable data sources and you need to constantly evaluate the quality of that data. And I imagine that as algorithms get more complex, the potential for errors or biases creeps in even more. For sure. And one article brought up the risk of overfitting, which is where an algorithm gets too good at analyzing past data, but then struggles when faced with new market conditions. So kind of like training for a marathon by running the same route every day, and then you get to the actual race and the terrain is completely different. Exactly. And that's where thorough backtesting is crucial, using data that represents a wide range of market conditions. That makes sense. Hmm. And of course, there are always those black swan events the completely unpredictable things that no one sees coming. Right, like a global pandemic or a sudden political shift, things that can throw even the most sophisticated algorithms off track. So it's about finding that balance, leveraging the power of technology, but not relying on it blindly. Absolutely. Algorithmic trading is a tool, but it doesn't replace human judgment. You need to understand what your algorithms are doing and be ready to adapt when things change. It's like having a super fast car. You can get to your destination quicker, but you still need to know how to drive and be aware of your surroundings. Great analogy. It's all about finding that balance between automation and human oversight. And that balance is only going to become more crucial as this technology keeps evolving. Definitely. The future of algo trading is going to be wild. Even more sophisticated algorithms, faster speeds, completely new strategies. Exciting times. Mm -hmm. So for anyone listening who's feeling inspired, What's one thing they can do today to start exploring this world? Pick one of the articles or resources we've talked about today and really dive in. Great idea. And as you're reading, think about your own goals and interests. What are you passionate about? What kind of trader do you want to be? Because there's a big difference between experimenting with a pre-built trading bot and, you know, building the next Wall Street powerhouse. Exactly. But that's the beauty of this field. There's a place for everyone, from casual investors to coding geniuses. Awesome. So find your niche, do your research, yeah. and don't be afraid to experiment. Exactly. And remember, even if you don't see yourself becoming a full-time algo trader, understanding this technology is becoming more and more important for anyone who wants to be successful in the markets. It's changing the game, that's for sure. Absolutely. Well, that's about all the time we have for today's deep dive. Hopefully you found this insightful and maybe even a little bit inspiring. Yeah, it's a fascinating field, that's for sure. It really is. So until next time, happy trading, everyone. Have it, my algorithm curious friends. Whether you're ready to dip your toes into pre-built trading bots or dive deep into creating your own strategies, the world of algorithmic trading is more accessible than ever. Remember, every Wall Street algorithm started as a simple idea. Maybe your next trading inspiration will be the next big thing. Keep experimenting, stay curious, and never stop learning. This is Theodore, signing off until our next data-driven adventure.